All right, everybody, this is Ray from iPhonePair.com, and I just wanted to talk about something that uh, I've seen on Reddit and that's been brought to my attention. Um, for the most part, we often, you know, praise iOS for being a very secure platform, and for the most part, it's true, and most studies have showed that, you know, that it's true, that, that iOS or that uh, Apple's software is, uh, for the most part, better uh, against malware and things of that nature. Um, and most of the time, it's not so much the platform that's responsible for a security issue, but more of the user themselves. So um, what we have found on Reddit and what we've heard from other users is uh, that while you can install some things from Cydia, that there's potentially uh, the possibility to, to install a malicious application a uh, perfect il illustration of this is when you jailbreak your device you you know gain you're gaining root access to your iPhone or your iPad you know and you start going outside of what Apple you know has set forth for the user so their little Zen garden you know if you want to say that uh, and you can kind of put yourself at risk by honest or installing files that are maybe from you know untrusted sources through Cydia and things of that nature um, now, as a jailbreaker myself, I'm, I understand the risk that there is with jailbreaking and with installing apps from Cydia and things like that. But I feel that the benefit outweighs the drawbacks. And I'm sure that most users, you know, out there feel the same thing. Um, but the thing that we ran across on Reddit yesterday is that uh, a user had run across his device kept, kept crashing, you know, uh, on a lot of his apps. It would just it would just crash. Um, and he noticed that, uh, by disabling mobile substrate, uh, extensions one by one to determine what's causing the crash, he came across, uh, an, an, an extension he had never heard, heard before. It's, uh, unflood U N F L O D. Uh, and it, basically what it seems to be doing is it, it seems to be uh, submitting information from the device uh, back to another source. So um, basically what that means is that the unflood.dylib uh, seems to overwrite the, uh, the SSL function. And basically what it does is it will capture your Apple user ID and information and it sends it to another source. So uh, this is still a new emerging type of malware so not much is known about it but it seems to be that the most common way to get it is by installing uh, unknown sources uh, within Cydia so and you know you can go into uh, Cydia and you can install uh, different sources and when you install different uh, sources like I'll show you in this case I installed a source for the purpose of making this video like here's a few that are not normally in uh, your repository like uh, insanely I repo and iPhone cake and Karen's pineapple those are some uh, unknown sources and when you install them it pops up a message and then it will tell you these are unknown sources. Do you wish to trust them? In City, it gives you a long uh, list of things to kind of warn you of what could potentially happen, and it's up to you to accept that risk. So by doing so, you know you can open up, you know, yourself to potential, you know, malicious applications and things of that nature. And uh, the repository hasn't exactly been identified wh where it's holding this particular malware. But if you have any repository in there that's that's from an untrusted source, it, it is suggested that you go ahead and remove the repository. So the next question is, okay, well, what do I do to get rid of this? What if I have, you know, the unflood uh, dot dy lib in my device, and how can I tell? Well, the easiest way to do that is if you go into iFile, and once you're in iFile, you want to tap very upper left corner you'll then want to scroll down to library while you're in library you will then want to scroll down to mobile substrate 
and then you'll want to go into dynamic libraries. Here is where you'll look for the unflood.dylib. And as you can see, I don't have anything like that. It's in alphabetical order. And you can see that what I have here. And I don't have uh, unflood.dylb. Now, if you did have that, what you would do is, let me go back in the iFile. You could swipe over to the left, and you can choose delete to go ahead and uh, delete that off of your device and then once you're done deleting that it then again suggested that you uh, remove any sources that are not from trusted sources in Cydia that's definitely the next thing to do um, and if it comes down to it if you, if you don't feel that your device is still safe uh, then the best thing you can do is to restore your device now keep in mind if you do restore the device you will lose your jailbreak of course so that's how to identify if you have the malware on your device and what you can do to remove it uh, but overall if you still don't feel secure that you that you, you may still be at risk then it's suggested to you to restore your, your iPhone now that will will leave up to you but another thing we would suggest since it has something to do with your Apple ID is immediately uh, go to your Apple ID and you want to go ahead and change your Apple ID password because it could have been compromised. Compromised. Uh, the other thing you may want to do if you haven't already done it is set up uh, the two-step verification with Apple too. So uh, those are the things that we would suggest, and hopefully this will help you out. You know, if you have questions about Unflood, um, definitely thank you so much uh, for watching this video, and you can rate, comment, and subscribe.